What's up guys? Today we're gonna have a freaking awesome show. It is the 400 subscribers special and we've been waiting for this for a really, really, really long time. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. We have so much cool stuff planned this trip. It's gonna be an overnighter. We're gonna try out a bunch of gear. We're gonna go fishing. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I got something really special for our 400 subscriber dinner. It's not oatmeal. It's not anything else that we cooked before. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get into it. All right, I had to take care of something in there. It's about six o'clock right now, and I'm pretty hungry. We've got a late start because of work. Thanks, work. But in my car, I have, boom, the 400 subscriber dinner. I'm pretty sure you want to know what's inside. So we're going to eat it right now. Got the first layer off. Whoever wrapped this, wrapped this really carefully. Oh, there she blows, guys. Boom. This is special. All right, so these right here are ribs. It's my grandpa's secret recipe, and he's like, If you put it on YouTube, I'll kill you. But not really. I did not bring any eating utensils, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. It tastes pretty good. I mean, granted, I made it, not my grandpa. So there's a slight difference, but, you know, it's still in the family. Guys, people must think I'm crazy just talking to myself. Eating ribs. Probably got some on my face, but it's fine. Yummy. Oh, I almost forgot. What rack of ribs wouldn't be complete without some Dr. Pepper? Wait, no. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Trickery. Gosh, people probably think I'm crazy as hell. <laughs> This is good. Again, thank you for the 400 subscribers. We have a lot of cool stuff planned for this episode. I'm actually gonna meet up with some subscribers tomorrow. Again, guys, thank you for the 400 subscribers. I know you guys didn't make this, but you can make 400 subscribers, which is pretty good. We're gonna do some fishing. Got a new cast net from my dad for my birthday, along with that fillet knife you saw in a previous episode. So we're gonna try that out. I have no idea how to do that, so. That should be pretty entertaining to watch. We're gonna do some fishing too because we're out by the ocean here. This is gonna be a really fun trip. Mmm, they were good. I didn't want to eat them all on camera because I didn't want to make all y'all hungry. We're gonna use the rest of that meat because you're like, oh, Ty, it's wasting. It's not because I got a crab pot that we're gonna throw off the end of the pier and we're gonna see if we can catch some crabs. All right, we're making our way to the pier. Got our super cheap crab pot, our bait with rope. And I got some zip ties in my pocket so we can fasten the leftover ribs to the crab pot. So here we are at the pier. I've only fished here before. I haven't actually cast the crab pot here. So we got our bait here that we're gonna use. Zip ties to tie it on here. Reckon we just put a couple pieces on here. Run the zip tie through it and back around. Same thing with the other one. All right, this should be good. All right, we just got our line all sorted out. It's kind of tangled up. We'll tie this here so we don't lose it. All right, now we'll carefully lower this down. And what I did is I picked this spot on purpose because there's a pillar right there and maybe that'll hold some crabs. Let it down carefully and boom, it feels like it's on the bottom because it's not taking no more line. We'll tie it off again so it doesn't have too much slack. Hmm, well that doesn't look right. Might have to give up on the the crabbing and use some fishing poles. Caught a bunch of trash. No sticks. Oh, great. Well, at least the meat stayed in there. That's good. Because you don't have any more of that. Try this again. All right, I think it's been long enough. Let's see what happened. Ooh, big fat nothing. At least it didn't have a bunch of sticks in it now. All right, it's been for a little bit longer. We'll pull this one up now. Ooh, nothing again. Great. Let's take a closer look at this meat. Maybe it's not even been touched. I don't know. It looks pretty shredded up. Maybe that's just from when we ate it. It's 
So we didn't catch anything and I fished till dark, which is okay because we got a lot of cool stuff planned tomorrow. Like I said, we're gonna fish and we're gonna meet the subscriber and we're gonna go hang out with him. The reason I didn't fish today was because when I bought the bait, the bait was frozen and it was still frozen when I got here. But I got something really cool to show you in my car. All right, so I moved the car in the light so now we can see a little bit better. But first thing you gotta do is open this door and flip this seat down. If you didn't get the hint already, we're sleeping in our car. Next, you pop the trunk. Open the trunk. All right, so what we got here is our backpack, which has most of our sleeping stuff in it. But under our little platform here, we got some emergency stuff, and we also got our yoga mat. Now, I'm not too much into yoga, but what you do is you unroll this. It has little straps to keep it secure. Put it off to the side and roll this on out. I like this side down because this side has like little bumpies on it and you wake up with lines across your face. So also in our bag, we got some sweatpants in case it gets cold. Footwear choice. This is important though. We'll come to this later. We got our sleeping bag. Can't forget our pillow. And now for the final act, which is very important because this gives us privacy. In here we have a carabiner, which is attached to some paracord that we unroll here. And what this does is it goes around the headrest of the seats and re fastens right here. And this is where this thing comes into play. Because if you unzip it, this is the liner to my sleeping bag. If you unzip it, it turns into a big blanket. And that goes over everything. So we get extra privacy. I haven't tried this before. It works really good in the parking lot of my apartment complex. I mean, I never slept out there though. Minor details, minor details. And that's gonna give us lots of privacy and keep the light out. And what we're gonna do now, since we got the car all set up, we're gonna go to a spot that is less scary than this. And you never wanna set up where you're gonna camp because then people see you setting up your car and then they're like, what is that person doing? Now we're gonna go to the campground. All right, now once you're at your secret spot, but you go climb in the back. And if I think people are watching, something I like to do is pretend there's something really interesting in the back and then you just get sucked into it. Oh, whoa, look at this cool thing back here. Oh no. All right, so we're in, but like a lot of my ideas, they seem good, but don't work out very well. My uh, stealth covering came off almost immediately and now I'm trying to like, Work it back in where I had it and cars keep driving by. Oh my gosh. We'll get it. And it's really saggy too. There's a car oh, coming this way. Get down. All right, there we go. They're leaving. Oh, the cars are everywhere. All my friends usually think I'm crazy for doing stuff like this. They're like, why don't you get a hotel room? And I'm like, why don't you pay for it for me? And they don't say anything after that. So yeah, this might not work, but it works right now. Thanks again for the 400 subscribers. That's awesome. Tomorrow's a new day. We're going to fish, do a bunch of stuff, hang out with people. We'll see you tomorrow unless uh, something crazy happens tonight. I'll let you know. Out. Good morning, guys. I slept pretty good. Not as good as if I was camping, though. I was worried that... Someone was gonna get me, the police, I don't know. My backpacks are visible up front, so I don't know. Someone's gonna break in my car while I was in here. I do need to figure out a way to get this blanket up a little bit better. And then the front, uh, obviously people can see in. It works out pretty good. I'm gonna get on out of here and we're gonna go fish. Oh yeah, that's not suspicious at all oh actually you can't really see it windows are kind of tinted gosh everyone's judging hardcore got a bunch of judge judy's up in here hey what are you looking at people these days all right got our shoes on so that's a good start all right let's take this down and we'll head to our secret fishing spot make sure you got our keys don't lock your keys in your vehicle oh man that was funner than it had to be. I don't know why people don't judge that car. Flat tire, no back window, dented to hell. I mean, my car's dented too. At least it has all its glass and no flat tires. Although I shouldn't judge either. People just make it so easy sometimes. <laughs> that was a joke. Head south.
decided to put some pants on because once you get out on the pier, it gets kind of cold and windy. All right, pants are on. All right, so we got the car parts. We got our bait that's not frozen right now. Let's do some fishing. All right, guys, so we're going to say screw it to the pier and we're just gonna go fishing at the beach. So right now, we haven't caught anything here, which is all right, because we're gonna go over to the jetty. That's where the big ones are. So, we'll see you there. All right, so I just found these fish in this little tiny pool, and they won't know what's gonna hit them. <laughs> Hopefully I caught them. Come on, big money, big money. Let's see what I got. Big old nut. Oh, look at this. Oh, the sand flea. Maybe we can use that as bait. Yeah. All right, we got tangled up a bit. We're gonna get this figured out. It's one of the drawbacks of these cast nets, so. There we go, there we go. All right, guys, so we're at the jetty. In or with our friend who's gonna be here fishing with us. We found this boat right here that's probably gonna hold some fish. So we're gonna make our way down the rocks and we're gonna fish next to this boat. Hopefully we don't get hung up too bad or trip down these rocks because that would be unfortunate. <laughs> All right, Gibson's hooked up right here. What do you have? I have no idea. She's fighting. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, what is that? What is that? Wait, it's not even like caught right. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, don't make any movements because the hook is in my hand right now. Oh, it's on a tail. Yeah. Well, that's cool though. I don't even know what the hell this fish is. No, we're keeping that. I gotta get a picture of it. Look at this, freaking crazy. Oh, Tristan just caught this fish. Oh, Look at that hella teeth. Oh, Here, I'll, I'll let you hold it. It's got like punks <laughs> down on my line. Woo! Oh, hey buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh man, that was almost really bad. All right, set it up. Dude, freaking awesome, man. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah! The ocean's mad that we caught a fish. In the improper way. <laughs> it's like, so you cheated. <laughs> well, I thought I had a bite, but rebait, try again. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And shout out to Tristan here. He was the only one who caught a fish, which is freaking awesome. Real Spanish mackerel, which was, I don't know. Was that your first one? For Spanish mackerel, yeah. Hell yeah. So, Ty catches fish. Remember that. Thank you for the 400 subscribers, and we'll see you next video. Out.